Welcome back to Gas Diesel Garage. My name is Jack, and I'm here to make sure you don't get screwed by the dealer. So stay tuned. That's a little bit of a problem. Yeah, that's no good. Shouldn't be leaking air like that. Okay, now, all right, pull the four screws that hold this thing to the dash. Pull it on out. Now what we need to do is we need to remove these air lines. And uh, remember and keep in mind where these things are placed because if you get them crossed, you're gonna have, be having air blowing out of places you don't want it to be. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Now guys, if you want to make this job a whole lot easier, pick yourself up some line or airline pliers because these things, if you don't know what they are, these things are push lock collars. So the, the, the line goes in by jamming it on and then it locks from the inside. And see this little collar? It needs to go down and then you, get, then you can pull the, the line out. So what this does is it goes on here like this. See, watch this collar pop out. Watch it push down. It's gonna pop right on out. See? There we go. Okay, yes, we had a little bit more air, but that's okay. I'll do it. See? All right. All right. Things are a lifesaver. Well, guys, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. See that dash valve? Well, instead of buying that whole assembly for a couple hundred bucks, we're gonna rebuild it with a $26 uh, rebuild kit that I found on Amazon. And uh, we're gonna go do that right now. Now here's your rebuild kit. It's a 107-216 uh, Bendix kit, rebuild kit. And uh, if you see right here, um, yeah, got a picture of that. But I'm also gonna have it in the link in the description below on how to get this very very cheap and simple rebuild kit so uh let's go start let's let's go ahead start taking that apart and uh go ahead and put all that stuff in okay we're gonna unscrew the handles just like that set that aside man that one don't want to come off there we go, there we go. Then we're gonna take all six of these screws out.
take this face plate off. And you can see we got already have some stuff popping out. Like we can take that off, set that aside, and pop this out. Pop that on out. We can just pop these out, they slide right on out, just like that. Make sure the springs don't go flying. There is spring in there. Yep. Pull that one out. There we go. Okay, next we need to take these and we need to push down on them, take those apart. That. Push, push down. Alright. Okay. Now essentially that's the breakdown. So all we need to do is just transfer all of these little seals, take the new seals, and swap them on out. Now I want to show you something right here. You see these little seals, how they got white in them? Well, they're white on the inside, but here's a new seal that's white on the inside. So you can't mistake uh, which seals go which. And yes, these are special seals. You can't use just regular O-rings. Just go ahead, use the Bendix kit, the 107216 kit, and you won't have no problems. guys use that grease that comes in the kit because using this stuff will make it go a lot easier putting over the shafts here so uh, what I like to do is I like to lube them things up already before I put them in just like that should just be able to slide this thing right on If you have to, use a pick ever so slightly so you don't damage it. There we go. 
right fatter one at the bottom next we're going to take that other skinny white one put some lube on it Slide that on down, just like that. Let's go and take this one. And if you look, you see this thing, how this thing's got a taper on it? Well, this seal has a taper also. Don't think I have a good shot of that, but the concave or yeah, the concave part needs to go on like that. Right. And then the lastly, take that little O-ring. Right. Okay. And let's go ahead slide this back in there there we go All right now you see this one's got an o-ring also we need to take that one off if you, if you squeeze it ever so slightly you can pull right off with a pick okay and get rid of that Grab the new one. Let's lube this thing on up. All right. There we go. All right. Now we just got to do the same process to the other side. Well, okay, you got both valve seals, all the seals in there. So now we need to move on to these little jammers right here. See how that's got a little O-ring in it right there and right there. Let's go ahead and take those off. Okay, discard. I believe it's that one. Yep. Okay. Okay. That's that. And take that little one out there. Discard. Okay, I believe it's that one. Hands are already greasy, so just lube that on up. And throw this back on. Okay. Alrighty. All the seals are in. Now we need to move on to the springs. Okay, we're going to discard all those because they come brand new in the kit.
Now that we got this thing fully rebuilt with that $26 seal kit, hey, better than spend, spending a couple hundred at the dealer. Oh, and labor to get this thing put in. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and put this back in the yard truck and um, see what it does. All right, keeping in mind on how we had all these uh, colored lines in, let's go ahead and plug them right back on up. Okay, let's do the yellow first. Yep, there we go. So where is my orange? Orange went right here, like that. And my red. Okay, where's my green supply? Friday and my blue. All right, easy as that. gonna be a wrap for this episode of gas diesel garage if you enjoyed the content please like subscribe and uh we'll see you next time and leave a comment if you like peace